We striking today, baby. As a fellow driver that have done multiple apps, I've done over 20,000, almost 30,000 trips. I'm striking today in Houston, baby. Y'all gonna have to find another ride for your Valentine's Day trip. You're not riding the beautiful Tesla. Oh, man, breathing my air. <laughs> we got to take this one out, man. It's getting good, man. Everybody's putting their foot down. Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash drivers going stupid right now in Canada, U.S., and the U.K. We tired. We fed up, man. You know what I'm saying? We tired of those $2 trips. Three, four, five dollars. Ten dollars to go 30 miles. Fifteen dollars to go 50 miles. And sit an hour in traffic. You've lost your mind. We drivers are fed up. We check out this video. Let me see what they're reporting on the news. You know, I'm not really a huge news fan. But when it comes to putting our foot down and protesting and showing what's going on, I love to see that. Today, with thousands of drivers for ride share and delivery companies in Canada, in the United States and the UK, all expected to put things in park today. A one day strike that will hit companies including Uber, Lyft and DoorDash. The drive some of you drivers, I know some of y'all like, man, but my, my rent due next Friday. I need to work. You need to put that car in park. You the problem. We need everybody to put their foot down. Drivers of those companies. But now, nah, if, if, if the rent due tomorrow, though, I need you to be, you might need to be out there. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. You might need to go out there and leash. <laughs> <laughs> made me sneeze. If I felt so bad for you. Made me sneeze. If the rent due tomorrow, you might need to be out there. <laughs> But he's fighting for higher wages and better working conditions at a time when shareholders are pushing for higher profits from the rideshare companies. The temporary work stoppage may cause people in Toronto, Vancouver and Winnipeg to rethink how they're getting to and from their Valentine's dinner dates, perhaps. There's a new report out from advocacy groups suggesting Uber drivers in Toronto make only around $6 an hour. That's about $10 below minimum wage. So that's the kind of fact that's really prepared what we're seeing today, this one day global action for more money and better conditions. Marianne has some further details. Good morning. Good morning, Heather. Yes, it's Valentine's Day, but rideshare and delivery drivers say, you know what, it's time for a breakup. In Toronto, Winnipeg, Vancouver, they're saying, put down your phones, silence and ignore, even just uh, don't use- Six dollars an hour, boy. Use those gig apps, things like Uber, Uber Eats, even Lyft and DoorDash just for Valentine's Day because they're trying to send a message to the companies that they want better pay, better treatment, just better conditions overall. And it's all in solidarity with thousands of gig workers, not just here in Canada, but also around North America, as well as in the UK. For instance, in the United States, 44 cities are seeing job action today with these gig workers, 10 of them, including Chicago and Miami. There's drivers there not picking up anyone and bringing them to and from the airport for a two hour window. In the UK, huh. for instance, delivery drivers there for- oh, I couldn't find a ride. I was trying to get down and catch my flight to go see my lovely wife and my and I just couldn't make it to the airport <laughs> five hours will not be picking up or dropping off any deliveries now here in Toronto later this morning at nine o'clock Eastern this is the largest rideshare market in the country and drivers will be heading to Toronto City Hall today to stage a bit of a strike there and from there they're going to continue on to the head office of Uber. Again, this it. is I all about it. sending that message that they want better treatment, particularly better pay. We spoke with one gig uh, worker. Uh, he's an auto share driver, and he had this to say. Recently went out for a shift uh, last week, a uh, two-hour shift, and uh, the total earnings for that shift were $5.40. Uh, so I can speak in experience uh, that uh, we are facing a crisis as workers right now. Uh, at a time where life is increasingly unaffordable, it is uh, absolutely abhorrent that uh, these kinds of earnings are allowed to continue in this province. And so it is just very difficult, as you heard from many of these gig workers, to make ends meet. Ridefare also has challenged uh, Uber's uh, claims that 
Drivers in Toronto make just over $33 an hour. Ridefare says in actuality, once you take away all of those expenses, as you mentioned earlier, Heather, they actually only make just over $6 an hour, so very little money. We're going to talk more about that. It's mm -hmm. quite an interesting study that we'll get to uh, as we continue to cover this today. $6 an hour. I might as well just put me in shackles and hang me up on the tree. But in Canada, in some parts of the country, there is legislation to address some of the issues in the gig economy. Is there not? Yes, there's a new legislation that's not yet taken effect in Ontario as well as in British Columbia. For instance, in British Columbia, once it takes effect sometime uh, this year, it's supposed to happen early 2024, so very soon, they're going to see better conditions for these workers as well as better pay, bringing them just over minimum wage. In Ontario, new legislation, which has not yet been enacted, would also bring them up to the provincial minimum wage which is about $15 an hour in that province. Here's more from one uh, economist who's been studying this. There are definitely kinds of workers who spend only a couple of hours at a time working in this where they might have another job or they might be on a kind of paternity or maternity leave. The fact of the matter is if someone spends 90% of their working hour driving for a particular company, are they really an independent contractor or are they actually an employee? Because employees get different protections than gig workers who don't have the same uh, protections as employees. So we're going to keep a close eye on how this all plays out on this Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Traditionally a very busy day for gig workers and of course what's happening here in Toronto at 9 o'clock Eastern. Okay, thank you so much, Mayor. Oh man. They striking, y'all. Comment down below if you striking. We got any drivers out there that's watching this that's striking? I'm striking from the studio. Yes, indeed. I'm not out there. You know what I'm saying? Over here in good old Houston, Texas, baby. We is striking. We tired. We fed up, man. We sick of the nonsense.